1,200 meters. That's it. They sprinting away from the 1,200 meter marker. Space launch towards the outside is right there. Royal Champion is well placed and Obligations off to lead them now about four off the left hand side. The yellow cap of Oak Canada has a good position. Rainier is about a length off the first call and on the inside in the green is Fair Catch. Falco is also showing pace on the extreme right hand sides among the leading division. Teppanyaki is about three lengths off them. Then comes Bright Shining. They are followed further back in the field by Kilroy and Golden Matador. As they settle down to race, Rainier just about the leader. Obligation is there. Space launches on the stand side. Falco's towards the inside about two and a half lengths off them. Then comes Fair Catch. Golden Matador's in the yellow also trying to put in a claim. Jack Friday's trying to get into the race. It's Rainier though that's gone clear. Obligation now going to have to pick up. Running on down the inside is Bright Shining and now followed by Falco. Still Rainier though as they get to the last 200 metres. And it's Rainier in front now trying to throw out the challenge and coming on well on the inside is Bright Shining. And Bright Shining's coming on powerfully now. Bright Shining's going to get up. Rainier second, Space Launch third and Falco fourth. Well, that could have been the omen, although it's very overcast. The bright shining comes to victory here. Count to Bois for Scalise and de Marini. Garth Puller is the winning conditioner. Third run after a rest and goes back to the 1,200 metres and wins from that inside gate number three. So victory here is for five bright shining. It wins at about a half length. Second, number one, Rainier. 14th time at the track. It's beaten three parts of a length. Third place goes to number 15, Space Launch. Certainly one to follow, showed pace from the word go. And Falco, another one just indicating it will probably prefer more ground. And then number four, Obligation and Royal Colours. We look at the head-on. You can see that's what it actually looks like out here at Clearwood. And Rainier is the leader. Bright Shining now comes on well with the black sleeves, the noseband and the blue cap on the right-hand side. And Space Launch is on the left-hand side. But it goes to number five, Bright Shining, who wins the first year at Clearwood. Till the running of the second race, back to the studio. We'd like well, totally contrast to the weather. Bright Shining has come through and won a good contest out here. Well done, Craig. Firstly, tell us how the track's running out there. It's quite tough there, Sheldon. Um, if this rain goes on like this, I'll be surprised if we go through with this race meeting. But um, through the race, it's just a big thank you to Mr. Puller, Mr. Peter De Marini, and Mr. Sturley. Um, Mr. Puller told me, I know this was, I went in last time in a thousand meter, just drift over to the outside where they're going is better, and right in from there, and as I did, he went well. You picked him up that last furlong, because that horse Rainier got away and you had to hunt him down? Definitely. He only started to find his legs that last hundred. He really grabbed a bit, and yeah, he took off that last bit. So guys following horses out there today, they've got to follow those horses who like the softer conditions? Definitely, Sheldon. Well done. Thank you. Let's get Garth Puller in here, bringing home Bright Shining for Steve Sturley, St. Peter de Marini. They're having a good trot recently with these colours in the winner's box. Yeah, it's very nice. I mean, he puts a lot of money into the game and he really deserves it. And uh, thanks very much to Steve and to Peter who manages the things for him. Um, yeah, he's a nice little horse. He's been knocking on the door. Uh, I had eight in the race, so it wasn't, uh, wasn't easy. I got had four in this race, so they split the race. I got three in the other. But um, yes, he won a nice contest. He, he was probably one of the fitter ones, and I think in these conditions you need something that's actually fit, and a lot of the guys have been battling to get enough work in, so he was quite lucky. He's run recently. Uh, he won a nice little race. He, he, you know, he tacked over to the middle, and he rode him nicely. I must say the kid rode a good race, and uh, thanks to Peter and Steve and uh, to Hollywood for their support. Looking up later, you've got some runners, AP, Strike, Melky, and Mr. Gigolo. Some of those seem to fare better in the wet. Do you think we're going to get there? Let's hope. Keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully the rain stays away. At this stage, I think we're we all right, but if that rain comes, that's predicted we're in trouble. 
Yeah, I think you know. I think AP Shark could run well. I think he's been waiting for the turn. Um, I left him in on Wednesday because I saw this coming. Uh, not to say there's going to be any better on Wednesday, but he draws one at Gravel. Um, he'll be out there doing his best. I think he's got chances. Mr. Jigolo likes it. Malkia likes the wet. I've got those those h hard knockers that have been waiting for the wet. And you know, you can't you can't cancel every meeting because there are trainers out there that have horses that must run in the heavy ground or the wet ground before we raced in heavy ground. And they, and you probably need it. But obviously, if it gets dangerous or the visibility goes, then the jockeys will complain. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done to the Garth Puller stable and bright shining. Let's hope that rain stays away. It's drizzling currently. If it stays like this, we'll be all right. Hopefully those heavy downpours, they stay away till later in the afternoon. But bright shining, he's made a bright winning run here.